In this video, we'll be finding the sum of the floor function of 10,000 plus 2 to the n all over 2 to the n plus 1 from n equals 0 to infinity. First, I want to simplify what's inside the floor function. So I can break this up into two separate fractions. So they both have a common denominator of 2 to the n plus 1. The first fraction will be 10,000 in the numerator, and the other one will be 2 to the n. But notice that 2 to the n over 2 to the n plus 1 is just a half. Now I want to use the fact that the floor of x plus a half is equal to the floor of 2 times x minus the floor of x. And here, x is going to play the role of 10,000 all over 2 to the n plus 1. So we're going to double that. And when I double that, I have the 2 to the n plus 1 is going to change to 2 to the n. Because think about it as 2 over 2 to the n plus 1 is just 2 to the n. And then we subtract it with x here. So 10,000 over 2 to the n plus 1. And that's what's going to be replaced inside the sum here. So now I want to find the sum of this. But notice that this is a telescoping series. And the reason I know this is everything is the same except the n and the n plus 1. So think of this as the first term is one step behind the, the 10,000 over 2 to the n plus 1 term. Okay, so that means this second term is going to be canceling out a lot of the previous terms. And I'm going to go more detail on that later. But note that they're basically the same. There's a minus, and then the only difference is n and n plus 1. So had this been like n plus 2 and minus 1, still a telescoping series. Now, notice that the sum goes from n equals 0 to infinity. The nice thing is we don't have to go all the way to infinity because at some point, whatever's inside the floor function is going to be less than 1 half. And whenever you take the floor of something that's less than 1 half, you get 0. Now, that point happens when you have 10,000 over 2 to the 14th. That's the first time that's less than 1 half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way up to 13 because 14 is going to be give me 0. If I plug in uh, n is 14, that's 0. So let's go step step back when it's not 0. So that's when n is 13. So basically, I'm going to change this sum, and now it's going to go from n equals 0 to 13. Okay, now I'm going to list this, the uh, terms out. Okay, so the first term is when n equals 0. Plug that in. n equals 1. All the way up to n equals 13. Now the good thing is that we see a lot of these will cancel. Note that 10,000 over 2 to the 14th is the first time it's less than 1 half. And we already said that this is going to be 0. And the good thing is that this term and this term, it's going to cancel out. Okay. So what is left is 10,000 over 2 to the 0. Okay. So 10,000 over 2 to the 0. Well, 2 to the 0 is just 1. 10,000 over 1 is 10,000. And the floor of 10,000 is 10,000. So that is our answer.